Smoke detector works. <laughs> it was hissing at me. Welcome back, everybody. Got a great video for you today. Lots of action, lots of interesting things. This project's going to be a fun one for you to watch. It's like uncovering a time capsule of homeowner DIY renovations, repairs, adding a light here, changing some plumbing here, running some some thermostat wire this way or doorbell this way or telephone wires. Remember those? when you used to have a telephone in your house that like hung on the wall. If you got questions, I got answers. Put those down below. Man. Sucker still doesn't want to come out. There we go, finally. Oh, that's a heavy piece of pipe there. Another union. If you're wondering, this little oil can right here, you oil your water pump with that. Oh, whew. That took a lot. Link in the description. The black wire or the black wire? Today's video is sponsored by Uncommon Goods. Uncommon Goods is the place to go when you're looking for a unique gift for a special person, like me. I'm probably the hardest person to buy a Christmas gift for or a birthday gift. Does Uncommon Goods have a gift for me? So I did a quick search, typed in tools, and one of the first things that popped up caught my eye. It's this unique looking little tool device. And I was going through the pictures. I was like, oh, it's got all the common bits. And then I clicked on video. It's a fidget spinner. I'm sold. I'm sold on that. Uncommon Goods sources the world for unique and oftentimes handmade products. They're made in small batches. You're not going to find these anyplace else. They're made by independent businesses and artists. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they give a dollar back to a nonprofit of your choice. To get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash handy. That's uncommongoods.com slash handy for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. This is power to the pump. Now I can remove the pump and take all that weight off that pipe. And pretty much this boiler is ready to, to move. I still got to take a lot of things off of it to get it out of the house. I'll drop this on my foot. Oh, not bad. Right. 
is heavy. So now that this is free, I gotta cut a lot of things off this. I gotta lighten it up so that I can get this thing up the stairs. There's probably a pretty serious thick heat exchanger in here that weighs a ton. But I'm gonna try to get as much of the piping off of it and get her upstairs. I'm not gonna be uh, tinkering around. I'm getting out. I don't know, I may get out the, the angle grinder and just zip this crap off. Got the boiler out. Really, really heavy. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. I may have to take the whole thing apart. Or I may have to phone a friend to try to help me get that out of the basement. Uh, next phase is the ceiling. Like I said before, all these things got to be removed. They're extremely fragile. Uh, I'll find, a, find one and snap it in two with my teeth in a second. But uh, this ceiling here, very interesting design. I don't know I don't really know why it's in there, but this has all got to come down and I got to remove all the ceiling that goes back to the entrance of the water, where the water enters the house, because that's the next phase, is these three pipes got to get moved, replaced and moved over to here. All the trunk lines are ordered and being manufactured for me, and they're going to come right straight through this wall, but man, you can tell that um, either the house or the floor or this doorway is is super crooked but that's how it is in these old houses now this here will eventually get moved way over there just unplug it A lot of people talk about the rat problems that they have where they live. That's what, oh, that's a spider. <laughs> and that's why they can't use CPVC, PVC, plastic piping. Not a single mouse dropping in this whole thing here. Lots of cobwebs, lots of dust. No mouse turds. That's almost, almost unheard of in a basement. Lots and lots of dust. This is a place that you would expect little mice to be running back and forth. No turds at all. Okay, how do we get this next bit off? Remember, these CPVC pipes, they fracture. They snap if you sneeze on them. So I got to be very careful around that. As I'm looking at it, it looks like just that one, that one. And that piece of wood there is holding this whole thing up. So a little uh, little vibrating saw action, I think that whole mess will come down. <laughs> Ooh. 
Who wants to be the handyman's helper? See what's gonna happen here. Yeah, not what I wanted to happen. by a thread splinter Let's see if I can just fracture it loose real quick So in a lot of my videos, you see me point out things like this. And I say there's nothing wrong with it. It's probably been in there since the early 70s, maybe even 60s. And the house hasn't burned down. Not a single wire nut, a whole bunch of asbestos covered wires, some electrical tape in there. Uh, so this and this would have been original. So originally there was probably a light there, but they moved that light over to, whoa, over to here. Everything's fine, calm down. Even that, even this, look at that. If you've read as many YouTube comments as I have, you know that someone is going into cardiac arrest right now smashing on their keyboard. Now don't worry, all this is coming out. Personally, I would never notch out the floor joists in my own house. Never want to do that. I'd get everything into a chase on, on like uh, right next to this beam here and then just frame it out, run things down like that underneath it in a chase, not, not that. He could have easily, whoever did this, went over here, went all the way down, and into a light box there and just built a little box around it. You even just trimmed it out. Got some paint stir sticks supporting the gas pipe. I don't know if you guys can see that. Up to code. This is the old galvanized water pipe still up here in the ceiling. Pretty cool. So what's interesting is this partition wall here was built way after this ceiling was installed. Because that ceiling goes right over. What's interesting is there's two, two ceiling layers in that room back there. What a crazy house. Oh, yeah. 
Power goes to the light box, gets sent down on the black wire, goes through the switch, comes back on the white wire. Give you Electricity at your light bulb. Alright, should we go in this room here? In the haunted house? Wow, what is that? Alright, don't get too carried away. Go on in. Go on in! Okay, leaving this hallway section that we just ripped down into the double ceiling bedroom. Yes, double ceiling, drop ceiling. Some fancy track lighting. I don't know how you turn that on. This here is where we're trying to get. There you go. That's where the water comes into the house. Sprinkler lines. Now, CPVC. We gotta replace it all. But first, we need access. Ripping out all this ceiling. What are we gonna find up there? Double layer of ceiling. So I got this new to me work light. Those magnets? Those are magnets. It uh, was sent out to me for free by Vivor. You know them. They got a bunch of they, they got a bunch of tools priced with low prices on them. Um, I would not recommend this for anybody in the construction industry. The, the way to control it is with this little tiny rinky dink remote control. Uh, it works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work. There is another minuscule button over here. I mean, it's like a reset button on an electronic device. It's so tiny uh, that you can do some things with, but you still can't. Watch. Oh, that did work. On one. Yeah, it's like I'm typing Morse code. There we go. Boom. There we go. Wrong color. They come in a whole bunch of different color temperatures. And, well, for this to work for remodel or construction or anything like that, you need some big buttons on the sides. Now, if you're a YouTuber, this actually might work. Uh, I do have to get some sort of Velcro and stick this on here. It's only been a few days me using this, and surprisingly, I have not lost the remote control yet. They sent it out for free, so I thought I'd tell you about it. I'll put a link down in the description. It is only 80 bucks. I have seen some comparable ones with those big buttons for 180 bucks. So you are getting a little bit of a discount. All right, I'm gonna get masked back up. You can tell that dust got to me, so I had to get my my uh, my PPE on. Uh, but one of them already, one of those old bands already ripped off. Right, here we go, back at it. There could be some treasures up here. I don't know how long this house has been. Woo. Ooh. Still hard to believe. I know a lot of you won't believe it. But there's no mouse poop in this house. Not a single dropping of mouse turd, which I'm happy about. I don't like when I open up a ceiling and mouse poop falls on my face. Gotta remove all those water pipes. That's why I can't get this one panel out, is it's stuck in there underneath those water pipes. What else do you see? See any treasures in there? Is that another beam? Holy cow, there's another beam right there. Man, this house is weird. All right, gotta get a little more aggressive with this demolition. These things are not popping out because of the water pipes with the boiler. So I think it's gonna end up cutting it. I'm gonna bring it out. Here you get to them.
and the stories this house could tell, huh? All right, I'm kind of got to get back on track over there. Just trying to figure out this mess, this interesting beam here that only goes to this post, supports all of that, so that means that that right behind you is a load-bearing wall. Very interesting. Very interesting how this house was framed. Okay, everybody, I've reached my destination. It's gonna give you a rundown of what's gotta happen. So I'm gonna go all the way to right here where it enters the house. This old valve doesn't work, I've already just tried it. Um, all this gets replaced. This is an old, non-used water meter. Look at this, isn't that special? Anyways, um, this valve doesn't work. This one works. This one there works. Get a load of that. Water seeping out of that joint there. That's fun. One of the reasons we're getting rid of all this. We will be keeping the pressure regulator. You notice that the sprinkler line uh, comes off your water main before it goes to the regulator. This is to keep the highest water pressure possible to go to your sprinkler heads. Most likely, this whole copper here to the sprinkler back just got more water dripping on me. More leaks. Stuff is like a time bomb. I think I see it. No, that's not a leak. Oh, there's another leak right there. Coming out of that joint. Well, anyways, I think tomorrow I'm diving in. So what has to happen tomorrow? So I got to get all the water lines replaced in one day. Goodbye.